Hey y'all, I'm Fanny, and this is our 2016 Tundra Overland build. This is our 2016 Tundra. We picked it up at Koch Toyota in Pennsylvania back in 2019. At the time, it had about 100,000 miles, and since then, it's gone to several states from Colorado, Florida, New Jersey. Here at the farm, it's been an absolute workhorse. And we realized we've never really done a walk around of it, so we're gonna do that today. The interior and the engine bay are stock, so we'll go ahead and start at the front. One of the first things we wanted to do was to update the look. So we added a 2018 hood scoop and 2018 headlights. That really modernized things. So then we added a CBI hybrid front bumper, which has a Smitty built winch with a synthetic rope. To jazz it up a little more, we had a Factor 55 fair lead and flat link. Hidden underneath, you'll see the CBI skid plates, uh, which are full and go to about halfway of the truck. The front bumper also has Baja lights, four inch pods, as well as Baja lights, uh, amber LED bar in the front. Moving on to the side is one of our more unique mods. That is our Dobinson Snorkel, which probably feels a little unusual for a Tundra, but if you consider that we were originally Floridians and had a lot of swampland that we could possibly go through, it was a good insurance policy. Also by Dobinson's is our IMS suspension. That gives us about a two and a half to three inch lift, which lets us fit 35s nicely. In our case, we chose to go with black Rhino wheels, 18 inches, wrapped in Firestone Destination XTs. These have been super reliable through all sorts of terrain. We've gone obviously in Florida through sand, we've gone through the mountains in Colorado. They've been great for us. All right, down here we have CBI rock sliders. These are really good for us when we're out on the trail, providing extra protection for the sides from any rocks hitting us on the side. Also, those CBI skid plates I mentioned, they go to about this halfway point. So it provides a lot of good protection for the guts of the truck. Up on the roof, we have two Prinzu platform racks, one over the cab and one over the topper. Over the topper, we have our rooftop tent, which is a James Baru that we picked up at Spirit of 1876, based out of Denver. As many of you know, once you add the topper, the roof rack, the tent, the drawers I'm gonna show you in a minute, all the gear, it gets heavy. So, to help us carry the weight, we have Dobinson's leaf springs in the back and timber and bump stops keeping us level. Up here, we have our ARE topper. It is a commercial grade topper, so it's meant to carry extra weight because it's reinforced. I know a lot of you are familiar with the deck system. We got really lucky. We actually were able to get this system used for about 500 bucks, which was a steal, because these usually run north of 1500. The drawers do slide out, which is really convenient because we're able to carry a lot of gear really easily. Here we have our air compressors, our bungees, some tools. Uh, over here we carry our ham radios, our towels. It's a really easy way for us to carry lots of gear organized and know that the truck is always ready for adventure. All right, that wraps it up for the Tundra build as it stands today. Obviously, I'm a little biased, but I really like that our mods are functional. I don't really think they're overkill. I think they're easily achieved by anyone. Uh, a lot of the money that we put into this was very well thought out. We thankfully didn't make a lot of mistakes on this build. So we've really been able to get a lot of out of all of the mods that we've done. Truck's given us great adventures, really good memories, and I hope that this was an inspiration for y'all. Thanks for watching.